It's just a sticker on a football helmet, a small black circle with the initials SS inside. Six teams from District 95A are all wearing it this season. One little sticker, but the story behind it is rich with love and sadness, healing and sharing, life and death. It wasn't a tragedy, you know, obviously we miss them, but it brings out the goodness in, in so many people. Spencer Squire was a son, a brother, and someone special to anyone who knew him. Spencer was six years old when he died in August. An undetected brain tumor led to a sudden aneurysm. No one saw it coming. The day before he fell into a coma, Spencer was on the football field, finishing his last day at Berkner High School's football camp. You know, we got a hundred kids out here running around and having a great time, but Spencer's the one kid that comes up after camp and has got this little Sonic gift card just to go get a drink. That's just who he is. I mean, at, at, we went to A&M soccer camp in June, and every day we'd bring his coach a big Slurpee from from 7-Eleven or whatever. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, we enjoyed doing special things. He's, he's a special kid. So special, SS could also stand for that. So special that six teams wanted to share his legacy. Special enough for Texas A&M to remember Spencer and his parents, who both went there with gifts and cards and flowers, and most importantly, a place for Spencer in their family. His uh, picture is hanging in the uh, Aggie football locker room as we speak uh, for the season, and uh, also in the uh, soccer, the soccer locker room as well for inspiration. Um, to get, get us some wins down there. It's a legacy that seems much too big for a person so small, but it fits. Uh, you talk about Aggie traditions. I mean, he's, Spencer's got his own tradition going on. I mean, he's, he's a legend in his own little world, I think. At least for us, he's always a legend. Yeah, we always said he had a circle of life, some smaller than others, and his was a small circle, but it was, uh, he made an impact. But there is no doubt that Spencer is up in heaven right now with his Ram jersey on, playing on God's football field. The Berkner football team held a ceremony before its first home game to remember Spencer. Rams assistant coach Dave Handel, whose son was one of Spencer's best buddies, first thought about getting the helmet decals with Spencer's initials. That was a good way to, to show them the, how much we appreciated Spencer and, and just it meant a lot to them as far as putting it in an athletics uh, frame of mind. Move your feet, move your feet. Come on, Chase. Plano Come on, East Chase. coach Johnny Ringo and his wife have been family friends with the Squires for years. When the Panthers play Allen later in the year, they plan on holding a ceremony much like Berkner's. It really is a great message for kids. You know, I think at the high school level at times they lose sight of that at 16, 17, they think they're invincible, and, and this was a great story for them and, and a great message. His parents say that message is to live life to the fullest. Spencer is literally giving one woman a chance to do that through organ donation. His liver okay. um, saved a 45-year-old lady, um, very petite, so she needed a child-sized liver. And my sister reminded us that the first four words of, or first four letters of liver live, and so we've, we've embraced that. That's, that's put a smile in our hearts that he was able to help somebody else. The Squires will continue to raise awareness for organ donation. They will continue to raise money for the Spencer Patton Squire Memorial Scholarship to be awarded to an incoming freshman at Texas A&M. And they will continue to live their lives to the fullest because they know that's what Spencer would have wanted. I mean, that's what Spencer was about. He was, he was full speed ahead and smiling. And for him, we've got to do that, I think, and for Ryan. Yeah, he wasn't a quitter, so we don't quit. and We'll go forward and, and have as much fun as possible and know that he's in our hearts and he's in, he's in heaven. He's also here on these football helmets, and he would have loved that. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports.